Excitement in the kitchen. Say, let's see the excitement. All right. Just you come along with me and I'll show it to you. Welcome, people. I'm Jonathan, otherwise known as the Appliance Dude, uh, Senor Smoke in the world of barbecue. I'm here at Curdo's in Westchester County, the sanctuary, the place where we live, love, and uh, inform people. And um, uh, it's Thanks Grilling, yes. It is actually one week before Thanksgiving, but we are in the midst of Thanks Grilling, which is a one month sales marathon that we do here every November. And uh, boy, we're just, we're selling a lot of grills. It's a good thing. I have a Wolf OG36 set for liquid propane. That is a Wolf 36 inch grill head on their cart. That's a deluxe cart, okay? Draws, door, the works. And we are letting that bad boy fly at a very, very low price compared to what it normally goes for. Remember, Wolf is a product that has a locked in price policy. This one, because it was a display model and pretty new, to be quite frank with you, only been on the floor for a couple of months, and it is. It is very clean. Um, I'm letting it fly, and I'm letting it fly. I'm allowed to do that with a display piece. So somebody needs to take advantage of this and bring this bad boy home for the holidays. I'm coming at it from a completely different angle because I owned one. I own this exact grill, an OG36 on a cart, but three summers and uh, three years. And um, I beat the holy hell out of it. I, I really did. So I know the ins and the outs, um, and I mean, I really, really knocked the shit out of it. Um, I uh, actually almost blew the grill up uh, once, which uh, that's a story for another day. But back then, when I was using it, I really, um, I wasn't using it as an informed individual when it comes to grilling. Everything was usually cooked on very medium or higher temperatures, and this is a very powerful grill. You need to watch out the way you use it. You need to use it with control. So when I had it, I was actually having a lot of flare-ups because, um, quite frankly, I was cooking at just way too hot temperatures. Um, what the grill has is a really nice ceramic briquette system which not only does it actually spread the temperature, spread the heat across the whole grilling surface, which is very nice. It's a briquette system similar to um, the Lynx, the Alfresco, but um, with the way that they do it, um, and you also on the 36 have an infrared burner on the left, okay, so that's your, I think it's 25,000 BTUs, seal in the juices, caramelize, it's all good. Um, so uh, the, re the reason I like the grill a lot is that it's actually built like a tank. Um, they did a very nice job with the fit and finish on it. I think it's one of the better tailored grills out there. I don't feel on, on the ones, the one that I own, the one in the showroom, other ones that I've looked at, um, there are no burrs, there are no uneven edges. So, um, you know, they, this is made for Wolf by a company in California called Twin Eagles, who are one of the best premium grill companies out there. So they really did a meticulous job putting these together. Um, so what do I like about it? I like the finish, fit and finish, the tailoring. Um, I, like the, I like the ceramic briquette system. Um, it is infernally hot, so that could actually be a negative as well. So you really need to learn how to cook with control. Um, the rotisserie system is nice. I didn't use it all that much. Um, uh, they do not use an integrated smoker tray. This is a box which can go above the grates or below the grates. I am not a big fan of that, but um, that is what most of the premium grills do. Uh, the hood is wonderful. The hood, I think, actually knocks off about 50% of the weight because of the spring assist system. Um, and it's got those lovely red knobs. In all honesty, um, you know, you got to understand when you buy a Wolf product, and whether it's the indoor or the outdoor, you're not just buying the features and functionality, you're actually buying the experience of being a Wolf or Sub-Zero customer. There's something to be said for that because I would argue uh, with anybody that they probably have the best customer service in the uh, luxury appliance industry. And many people in this industry would probably agree with me on that. So again, you're spending the money on the product, but you're also spending the money on becoming a member of, I don't want to phrase it as a club, but they take ownership, Wolf, Sub-Zero, um, of the, uh, basically it's like a, um, 
it's the relationship that they have with the customer. Like they don't just look at you as you bought our product, good, just contact us, there's an issue. I mean, they really wrap their arms around their customers. It's lovely. They do it better than anybody in the industry. Um, so again, long-winded way of saying, yeah, the grill is really nice. It's built well. It's got a hell of a lot of power and some nice features, but also the service on it is uh, unparalleled. Big drop in price. It's a liquid propane uh, grill. I guess it could be converted. I'm not going to do that though. Um, and I will not ship this across the country. Um, I'm prohibited by, do uh, I can't do that. Uh, for Wolf and Sub-Zero products and because of the fact that it's been on display I'm not going to wrap it up for a trip out to California. So New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, it's all yours. Um, again, uh, on the cart, ready to go. This would make an awesome, awesome Christmas uh, present uh, for, for, for somebody out there who loves the grill. So that is it. Um, the grill is on sale as of now. Uh, so please contact us. You can email me, jonathanacurtos.com. You can uh, call the showroom. I am not giving prices out on the video because I'm actually prohibited in doing that with, as per my dealer agreement with them. Uh, there's no posting prices online or, I mean, technically, I guess I could do it here, but I'm not going to. So call us up. We'll tell you the deal if it's still available. Thank you very much, people, and have a happy Thanksgiving.